On this week's episode of Hoosier News Source, how one family is using their tragedy to educate students about the dangers around the college campus. And how an anonymous donor paid for some student tuition, all coming up now. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Hoosier News Source. I'm Laura Puglisi. And I'm Meredith Seaman. A new program was added to this year's Welcome Week agenda. Freshmen gathered to listen to fellow college students talk about how to keep themselves and their friends safe. Here's Kate O'Rourke with more. Like my world stopped. Like I have never felt like that kind of pain in my entire life. Hannah Elliott describes a moment that she learned that her best friend Rachel Feige died. Feige suffered a fatal head injury after falling down a flight of stairs at a party before attending her first college class. Six hours passed before anyone called for help. Now, Feige's family and friends are encouraging students to make smart decisions as they transition into adulthood through their program, Rachel's First Week. I think as what happened to Rachel tragically is that um, you know, they didn't think she was hurt. So I think part of making the call is, first of all, recognizing that there is an issue at hand. And so part of our program today is to try to dispel some of the myths about drinking and alcohol and passing out and things like that and just make people realize how very, very, very dangerous it is to, to drink to the point that you're not responsive and that is a time to call for help. Indiana University students are encouraged to seek campus resources like OASIS. Located in Eigenman Hall West, Oasis offers a safe, judgment-free environment for students to learn about drugs and alcohol. Visit the Oasis website for more information about programs dedicated to helping students with the struggles that come with college. There's a link for more information about the Indiana Lifeline Law. Spreading the word about the Indiana Lifeline Law to students is a primary goal of Rachel's First Week. The law protects people who call 911 when they are with a minor who has consumed a dangerous amount of alcohol. Rachel's First Week plans to expand its message beyond central Indiana, reaching out to college groups, high school seniors, and parents of college freshmen. For Who's Your News Source, I'm Kate O'Rourke. For more information about Rachel's First Week, visit our website at iustv.com. The Indiana University Dance Marathon members took a leap of faith over the weekend, and what they were carrying may surprise you. More than 100 IUDM committee members paired with a group called Canopies for Kids. The nonprofit organization has people skydive with teddy bears, which are then given to the children at Riley's Hospital. These bears are called the bravest bears in the world, and they go to the bravest kids in the world. A really, really cool event. And nine journalism students recently received scholarships for the 2015 to 2016 year due to an anonymous gift to the media school. This scholarship will reduce depth and eliminate any current outstanding tuition. Juniors and seniors with top evaluations could apply for the scholarship and got to meet the donor themselves in an interview process. This gift will help these nine students pay off their loans and will cover living expenses for the next year. To find out more about the recipients, visit news.iu.indiana.edu. It's an honor to be here. After suffering a season-ending injury in late March, as you can see behind me, National ranking has set IU in the top ranks for being one of the most welcoming campuses for the LGBTQ community. I went on campus to find out more. Take a look. IU has made Campus Pride's top 25 LGBTQ friendly colleges and universities for the third time. 
According to Campus Pride, this national ranking is determined by research on policy, program, and practice. I think it's fairly welcoming. I have faced very minimal discrimination in town so far and virtually none on campus. IU's GLBT Student Support Services offers health assistance to students, counseling services, a library, and a community to make students feel welcome. They're constantly advocating for um, student rights. Um, things like that kind of add up to make it a more happy and kind of like inclusive environment. I use GLBT services plans to continue reaching out to the community and to possibly keep their ranking for a fourth time. Kind of just letting more and more people know that they have a place here. For Who's Your News Source, I'm Laura Puglisi. To see the full list of schools, check out campuspride.org. And I mean, I don't know, I just heard about this, but there was in Bloomington a gay pride parade this weekend. Four months ago, IU senior Hannah Wilson was found dead in Brown County. Today, her little sister Haley is starting her freshman year. In a message, Haley said, quote, I love it here, knowing that this is the place Hannah would want me to be. Although we are both psychology majors, I still can't wait to create my own path and see where my IU journey takes me. Haley also recently joined the IU all-girl cheerleading team. And the trial for the man accused of killing Hannah is scheduled for February of 2016. As students return to campus, new facilities are opening up. The Global and International Studies building is officially open. The building has more than 30 classrooms and will house eight different departments. Construction is still underway, however, on Assembly Hall. The remodel, which began in April, is set to finish sometime this fall. The $40 million donation from alumna Cindy Simon Scott includes new restrooms, concessions, and a video board. The arena's name will also change to Simon Scott Assembly Hall. I actually read that one of the renovations they're doing is so people in the balcony seats can actually see the video board because I know right now it's like you sit so high up there's TVs that show you what they're playing on the video board because you can't see it. I mean, as a freshman last year, yeah. that was I was all the way in the back, right. so that was a big issue for me. Yeah, that'll be really, really nice. Well, that's all we have for you this week. Be sure to tune in next week for more campus and local news. And like us on Facebook at IUS TV and follow us on Twitter at Hoosier NW Source. Thanks for watching and have a great week.